Okay. So people have some questions about how I'm using some of these um, hardware synthesizers in my mixes, uh, namely the Neutron. It's a cheap Behringer uh, little mono synth. So pretty cool. Uh, I, my, uh, my goal, <coughs> excuse me, my goal is just to kind of create uh, like some, add some kind of um, like old school B whore flick um, analog stuff to my metal mix. So, just to give you an idea. It's just gross. You got uh, a little bit of uh, reverb and yeah, I think it's just reverb essentially on it. But yeah, gross. And that's exactly what I'm going for. Got a couple other elements. We got um, a Moog D fan doing some stuff too. So okay. So got some weird stuff going on there. Um, let's see here. Let's just solo everything we got going. Got some uh, got synth from Native Instruments in there as well, and along with the harmony. And the whole mix. A lot of that's real subtle. I mean, it's kind of buried in the mix. Um, you know, I don't want it to be, you know, super over the top. Main focus is obviously drums and bass and guitar. But uh, you'd definitely hear it if it wasn't there. I mean, it just, it adds some character to it. So, some other passages, I'm using it. I'm, I'm kind of using these synths as kind of like a reoccurring theme. Um, kind of to make this whole record or what have you a little bit more cohesive so i'm using it a lot on um on intros and and uh, things like that and outros I think this is the outro of the song just gonna help kind of make it all cohesive i guess song and into the nether now let me play just the uh, neutron on that and what I really like about the neutron is it has a uh, an audio external audio input so in this particular case I I just took um, I don't know a di from the guitar was doing this little chord thing and running it through and was able to manipulate the, the DI sound running through the Neutron um, using the filters to kind of manipulate the sound. So that's kind of what you hear in the background. It's probably my favorite part about the Neutron is that external audio in. I personally think every synth should have it by default, but uh, anywho, so that was the D fan, or the, I'm sorry, the Neutron in there, let's check out what else we got going on, um, yeah, we'll just solo this out, it's a deep, Behringer Deep Mine, another relatively cheap synthesizer for the, for the money, it's pretty incredible, I mean, what you can do with it, it's, it's pretty crazy. 
into just the deep mind. Throw the neutron in with it. Okay, and let's just play the whole thing. It's not used extensively through this, but uh, this project, but I do use it quite a bit. how I'm using it. Pretty effective, I think. Trying to give it that old school 80s B-horror vibe. But anywho, peace. <laughs>